Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we have a riding lesson. This is the field we're using. Sam cut down all the weeds, but he left the tractor in the field. I can move the lawnmower. I can't move the tractor. This is a dilemma. I can move the lawnmower. You can move the tractor. I, all right, I'll figure out how to ride that tractor. I'm driving in the car, in my car for a long time. First, first time wearing shorts in the summer. Sophie got shorts on. Gabby is still asleep. And no, that means. Sophie and I have done chores. Fed Old all the horses. Uh, yeah, Sophie blares the music. What song do you blare? Old Town Road. It's Old the Town big Road. Song it's her favorite song to blare. Anyways, we're headed to the store to get some energy drinks. Energy drinks, even though I disagree with energy drinks. But. Says my list is, in, is at 11, so I need it. Yeah, so anyways, we're headed to the store. It is on storm, so I extra need it. Yeah, so anyways, we are headed to the store. I almost got out of the house by myself today. I was so excited. Like, I thought I was going to go because every time we go someplace, the girls always want to go, which I love. But today I was about to go on my own, but now I'm not. <laughs> anyway, let's go get some energy drinks for these girls so that they can get started. I have a busy day planned for us on the farm without Sam. And I want to tell you guys about Chino, the things I've been noticing. I just watched the goats. So the baby goats squeeze through the tiny little parts of the fence. And they've been hanging out in Chino's field. And Chino and Willow slowly walk away from goats. Eating the grass outside Chino and Willow's field. I think I'm going to open up that fence for them. The horses are like the big horses just came galloping and the horse and the goats ran right back home. So I almost feel like we're at the stage where I could just open it and let them get out there. We're still waiting for the people to come back and finish the fence. So I'm, I'm contemplating letting them out. So I have so many things to update you guys about the goats. Goat. <laughs> Can you guys see the duck and the goose down there? So we have the... Yeah. But look, there's the duck and the goose right there. So we have them like alongside the goats because pretty soon they're gonna join the goats and the goats and the goose and the duck don't seem to bother each other. So we're gonna open that up and everybody's going to kind of coexist. But also we're gonna let the goats up no, here because look at Blossom. the goats already come up here. The babies come up here. I know, you're so cute. Abby. So cute. I love you. I have to provide you with a bucket? Yes, if you want me to scoop up the rocks. So you're complaining because you don't have a bucket because I didn't give you a bucket? It's literally right behind you. That is not <laughs> That's the bucket. You guys know we dug this field out. We dragged it and dragged it and dragged it to make it a horse dry pasture, a dirt paddock. There's Gracie over there. And when we did that, it looked really good, except for that now that the horses are walking around on it, there's a lot of rocks. So we're going to clear out the rocks today. And like I said, we let the goats up here because the babies just come up here anyway. The horses are like so good with the goats. Like people are like, yeah, horses and goats are good together. I actually thought that meant like because they don't share parasites. I thought because I thought people meant that because they don't share parasites. So I thought they meant like, oh, you can put them together because they don't share parasites. So they don't like make each other sick. Um, but what you guys really meant, or what, what that really means, is that they actually get along. Like, they love each other. Our horses love watching the goats. Our goats are a little nervous of the horses, but also our duck and our goose should fit in really well, too. So, now that we have the little goats up here in this section, with the horses, closer to the horses eating all this grass, we're going to open the gate for the duck and the goose so that they can all kind of start to mingle. It's my goal by the end of August for all of our animals to coexist. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beating to the ground, right across the... I missed it! But Ellie just, um, the goats got too close to Ellie and boy did she fly through that fence. I've been scared to live cause some people never learn. But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn. Cause baby I got you, 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 you. So that little fencing that we had is just two dog X pens put together. And we like to use them and keep them for any new pets that we get on the farm because then... Ellie likes we can separate them 
like put them up, put that up in any field, separate animals as they're getting to know each other, but they can still have access to each other. So they're super, super valuable to have. Gabby, you're doing a, such a good job. We have bad news about our goose. What's the bad news, Sophie? She's a boy. She's a boy. We named her Zoe, and now she's Joey. No. <laughs> no. 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 So now we need a new name, because I, I've been thinking like she seems like a boy for a while now, the way she sticks her neck out and always puts herself between us and the duck. No, because that's only for when she's talking. He's talking to the duck. And our other goose, which I think was a girl, chattered like incessantly. Like she was like always chatting and was really noisy compared to the goose that we have now. So are we calling him Winston? He doesn't look like Winston. He does. He's so regal and cute. But actually I'd like to save the name Winston for a new goat. I definitely think the duck is a girl, but I think that our goose is a boy. But that's okay because we'll get a girl eventually. <laughs> this is totally fresh water this morning. Oh. Um, now that we saw that the goose and the duck are really good with the goats, um, and we were able to watch them and they were able to spend some time next to the goats unsupervised, and they're totally unfazed by the goats now. It's been like about three days where they're really starting to settle with the goats. So we're going to open the round pen gate. Please don't. Please don't. So we're gonna let everybody be free. The ducks will all, the goose and the duck will still have their pond down here. Um, I'm gonna move water though and put it someplace else. Yeah, I knew it was gonna happen. My dog thinks that she's a goose and a duck and a goat. She, she's swimming. She's actually laying in that pond, in that pool. <laughs> Look at Ellie. She's like, it's so cozy and warm. There's so much pee and poop in here. It's just keeping me warm. They can try, but they can never take me down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's my dog. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave water up here as well. So that if any animal doesn't want to go all the way back to the uh, electric water. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to love my so another thing about our goats is that our our mama goats have not even started the weaning process they just feed those babies whenever they want to be fed so um i'm pretty sure that our goats are pregnant just by the way that they haven't come into heat yet if they actually are pregnant i want to prepare for that so a little while ago sophie and i decided to take the weaning process into our own hands we decided <laughs> We decided to uh, wean them. So we don't want to separate them because they've come to a new home. And that's why we didn't start weaning right away is that they came to a new home. We didn't want them to be stressed out because stress can actually make animals get sick. So we waited a little while. Um, and now that we think that they're probably both pregnant, we decided to wean them because by weaning them, it'll give them a rest, their system a rest, a little bit of a rest. It won't, the demands of breastfeeding babies will be taken from them and they'll be able to build up a little bit more before they give birth again. So a little while ago, Sophie and I taped the moms so that the babies can't get any milk from them. So we've been watching them for any signs of mastitis because that is like my biggest fear. If you've ever breasted a baby and suddenly they stop, especially a little moke over there who is feeding twins, but it seems to be working really, really well. And the babies are definitely well into the weaning process now. They're not getting any milk. They still do try. Are you crazy? Do you think you should be in a horse field? <laughs> this is our littlest one. And she is not scared of horses. <laughs> These are all the babies. You're peeing in the horse field. That's smart. It actually probably is smart because it'll help the horses get used to her scent. The horses honestly don't care about the goats. They've been spending the last couple of days watching them and don't seem bothered by them at all. What is happening? This, this is so far out of my comfort zone. That's the mom. Oh my gosh, get out of the barn. <laughs> oh, this one's too. Willow is trying a pair, just one pair. 
she likes it. Pears can give you a belly ache for sure. So the last thing I wanted to uh, fill you guys in on is that Chino's definitely doing changing by leaps and bounds. How'd the moms get in here? I don't know. The moms need to get out though. I don't really like them with the in the field with storm, but gotta rip the band-aid off someday. Anyways, and the goats run fast. I watched them. The horses were running this morning, and then the goats took off and they run fast. Anyways, so about Chino, so. He's been changing so much. So he is still the same amount of lame as he was when we moved here. Like just soon after we moved here, it caused a flounder flare and he got really, 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 really sore. And I didn't think he was gonna come back from that. And he did. And he was on a lot of pain medication and he was really lame. Yesterday and today he's on the same, he's on half the amount of pain medicine and he's, the same amount of lame or maybe even a little bit less so it can take a while but I definitely do think that he's coming around my point is that Chino really seems to be responding so in the last week that he's been on the medication it hasn't even been oh yeah it's been a week has it been a week yeah I think it's been a week in the week that he's been on the medication he honestly has already started gaining weight like the trainer was here today Sophie's western trainer and as she said wow this this last week that she was here she thought he wasn't gonna come through and then this week she said he's he's gained weight like everybody can tell he's gained weight so he's doing really well I think I think there's a chance that he could come back we give him a lot of food he wasn't gaining any weight he was eating so much food and, and not gaining weight and devouring the food like eating it like so fast and, and no, it wasn't that he was lethargic and wouldn't eat he was eating like crazy but I guess that's what happens with your thyroid we couldn't give him anything. Like a one apple or one pear would have sent him into a founder flare just like that. Like we could not feed him anything new. We couldn't give him anything new. A bite of grass would have been awful for him. And I noticed the last two days that he's been really wandering around. He's been eating the grass outside the fence. The, the vet told us that we need to support his gut health to fix that. And we are, but he's eating that grass and he's not getting any kind of more sore. He's doing really well. All I see are positive things happening with Chino Bambino. I believe he's going to come back, and I believe he's going to come back fast. Like right now, you can't see his ribs. Yeah, like he's he's still thin. Like you can hit the muscle. Yeah, you can. The muscle it. wasting is the worst. But he he's doing it, you guys. I believe in him. So everything's going in the right direction. Chino's on the way up and up. The goats are being weaned so that they can get healthier, have time to get healthier before they give birth. Everything is going super well for us on our little farm, but like in all farm life, there's always ups and downs. And we did definitely have a down today. What was the down, Sophie? Oh, Storm lost a shoe in my lesson. Yeah, right at the end of Sophie's lesson. And he had bell boots on too. Yeah, and he lost the shoe. So now we have to wait for the farrier to come again. We put hay down there and then we put and then we put hay up here as well so that if they want to be down there so they can watch their friends then they still have then they'll still stay eating don't you know that you're beautiful? 